What's up my friend, welcome back to another Kajabi video. And today we're taking a look at the new page editor in Kajabi. And it's a, it's gonna be a super short one. I just wanted to share this with you in case you were maybe hesitant about updating to the new editor. I personally uh, really enjoy it actually. It feels a lot more streamlined and I just wanna walk you through some of the different changes in the layout while you're creating your pages, your website, your emails, whatever. And so this is how it looks. You'll see that the, uh, the on the left here, you still have the different sections, which is uh, super easy as ever. You can drag and drop different sections of your website around. And I'll show you this as well on um, just regular landing pages and also emails. And you can see how consistent this is, but at least on the website page, this is uh, the, what it looks like. So you still have the different sections. You can still add different sections, right? With forms and hero images, carousels, and all that's great stuff. Um, and then in here at the very bottom, instead of having the navigation window here, if you want to switch between different pages of your website, here is where you can do it at the very top. So right now we're on the home page, but you can also edit your blog, your login, your 404 page. Let's say I also want to edit my store page. So I'm going to go here and click store and it's going to take a second and bring me over to the store page. And now I can see all my different elements here. If I click on this section, it can show me all the different cards I have available, which is all these different blocks of my courses and the descriptions, of course. And as usual, you can see all the different text that you can edit and go into there, uh, edit the background of the button, edit the text itself, the CTA there, um, the, where it goes to in terms of links and stuff like that. And then here at the very top, you can also toggle between different views. So this is like the computer view. This is, I guess, like maybe iPad view or like uh, landscape iPad view. This is how it looks on um, uh, iPad view, but portrait. And this is on mobile view, I guess. So that's kind of cool too. It's all on the very top now. So um, that's how you can see that really quickly. They also have an undo function and a redo function too. So if you did something and you changed it by accident, you can just undo and it undoes that action. And redo obviously is the opposite. Um, and then you can preview and save. So let's say I made an edit, I want to save it. And here I can just click preview at the top, similar to the old version. And you can check out your changes there, which is very cool. Um, and then let me quickly show you what it looks like here on the actual individual sales pages. So it's essentially the same thing. Um, you can see all the different blocks, the different sections you have on the left, footer, exit pop-up, and two-step opt-in. You can apply this for any landing page, which is really cool. Keyboard shortcuts as well. Um, but aside from that, it's the same stuff. So you have the views at the top uh, here. We don't have the menu because it's just an individual landing page uh, instead of editing our whole website page. So, um, we don't have to worry about that there. And then again, we have preview and save. And again, the undo and redo pages, uh, or functions. And I just like how white it is, how, um, you know, streamlined it is. It looks really easy. And once you click save, if you want to exit this, you can just click here and it goes back to your previous section or where you entered your page from. So that's nice. Uh, and then here's how it looks like in email. So let's say I wanna edit some text. I can click that, I can type it in. And again, I can click save. And there's my undo and redo. The, these undo and redo functions can actually be super helpful, I think in email editing specifically because emails are really the lifeblood of our business, right? So when we write emails, um, if we make a slight tweak that we didn't mean to do, we can always undo that function and it goes back. Of course, you have the, the keyboard shortcut of just command Z if you're on Mac that's as easy as that as well. But just so you know, you have that additional option and functionality here too. And again, you can go through and see the different views on mobile or iPad or computer. So that's also really cool. But yeah, if you, if you were just wondering like whether you should update or not to this new editor, I would recommend it. Um, I think 90% of the updates that Kajabi releases, I typically take on board um, just because I find that they're mainly focused on making our lives easier as business owners. And they like, they, they're trying to let us not worry so much about the tech, right? It's more about focusing on the actual co uh, content that we're putting out there, the, the resources that we're creating for our students and less about the actual coding and stuff that we have to worry about to create um, for our site. So I, I do appreciate these upgrades and these updates. And this is just one of those ones that it's, it's more aesthetic, but it also helps with your workflow. If you just want to try it out, I think it's super useful. So 
yeah, I like it myself. Hopefully you like it as well. And uh, yeah, if you're if you're not quite yet on Kajabi, you're maybe hesitating a little bit, but you're wondering whether or not Kajabi is the right fit for you. I use it for my entire online business and I've been using it for a few years now. And it's just been so great allowing me to focus on my content and not letting, not um, needing me basically to worry about the technology and the hassle behind it. So I can focus on what truly matters and that's the content, building my email list, selling my products and so on and so forth. And that is a great experience. So I can highly recommend it. If you want to try it out for yourself, they typically give you a 14 day free trial on their website. But if you use my link down below, christophercu.com slash Kajabi, you can get an extended 30 day free trial. And so you'll get more than double um, just for as a thank you, basically for using my link below. And it is an affiliate link. So if you become a paying member after your free trial, then part of your payment will support me and the channel and no extra cost to you. There's no obligation, of course, but if you do want that extended trial, you can take advantage of that using my link below. And in addition, as a thank you, I'll give you two bonus mini courses absolutely free. The first one is called Kajabi in 30 days. And so during your free trial, you can watch this mini course from start to finish and follow along to build your online business and uh, essentially start making money very, very quickly, even within the first few days, if you uh, put those steps into action, put them into practice, and you can start seeing those results very quickly. The second one is called Content Marketing for Creatives. And so this one is my exact business model that I'm using to, again, put out free content into the world and then monetize my knowledge on the back end. And again, allowing me to scale my business and earn back my time. And it's just a really beautiful process that I want to share with you as well. Totally free as a thank you for using my link below. So I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.